Hi everybody, I'm Diane Mueller and I'm the Director of Community Development at Red Hat and I'm really excited to be here today to talk with you about end users and more specifically about the phenomenal rise in participation of end users in open source communities across the cloud native ecosystem. In many ways, this is my thank you letter to end users and my way of expressing my virtual gratitude for all the many contributions that end users have made that have helped drive innovation into the projects and products and services that I and the rest of Red Hat have had the privilege to work on in collaboration with many of you who are in the audience today over the past years. Like many of you, open source fuels my work. It gives me a mission, allows me to contribute to make the world a better place, and hopefully to be a catalyst for others to participate and contribute to building a better world for all of us. We have barely scratched the surface of the opportunity that is ahead of us. As we all know, open source is the future and the rise in end user participation has enabled us to dramatically scale and accelerate what we're doing today. To continue to do so, we need to evolve and nurture that virtuous end user cycle that Priyanka Sharma so eloquently pointed out at the last KubeCon. And this will ensure all of our successes and help all of us grow our communities. Today, end users are not just giving feedback. They're building side by side with us. We have projects like Metal Cube that, while it may have sprung from Red Hat, now has key maintainers and dedicated engineering resources from Ericsson working full time to drive this project forward. We've seen major donations of fully formed projects and code bases such as Jaeger and Uber and Envoy from Lyft and Backstage from Spotify and many more that are evidenced in the CNCF landscape that is literally bursting at the seams with projects filling sandboxes and launching themselves in GitHub repos. And we're now seeing a new emerging trend of end users sharing up the stack and openly discussing their workloads and how they've implemented such as with telcos like America Mobile and their Enterprise Neurosystem Initiative, in which they're sharing their AI ops expertise and implementation to bring more efficiency to all of their enterprises using the open source way. They're taking enterprise and in industry specific user groups to an entirely new level. And while vendors continue, including Red Hat, to vie to be seen as the top contributors um, and engineering resources dedicated to CNCF projects. And believe me, we are all grateful for those continued cont contributions. So please do all keep bracing for that top notch. The real trend that we should be proud of and to continue to nurture can be seen further down in the dev stats and the stack analytics and other da dashboards is in the huge rise of enterprises actively participating in our working groups at all level. I'd be hugely remiss if I didn't give a shout out and thank you to the, all the end user participants in the OpenShift communities and especially those in the OKD working group that are helping drive the collaboration across OpenShift, OKD, Fedora CoreOS and operators and lots of others, you know, that's, I'm hugely grateful for that, and it wouldn't be possible without the end user participation and contributions. There are now end users on the CNCF TOC and on the board, and in this, and the, the, you can see them in the CNCF end user community initiatives. Um, and creating these spaces is in hugely in, important to give them voice, but there's lots more work to be done. As not all end users and corporations um, are able to participate yet, We've seen peer-to-peer um, -peer coaching from those that are participating. Um, we've seen the rise of enterprises launching their own open source program offices like at Salesforce and in, at Apple and the creation of roles like open source officers at Bosch and other places. The more we can do to help org their organizations and their management teams understand the value of open innovation, the more resources they can bring to the party. Projects like that of the CNCS contributor, contributor SIG that's doing great work on creating clear paths for onboarding participants into our communities need to be um, raised up and made more visible. Their work around embedding and cl creating clear contribution letters, ladders so that uh, the path from newbie to maintainer is clear and open and inclusive. Many projects already have well-trodden, well-documented paths like Helm and Envoy and now Porter's got a great one. I call on all of the project leads of our communities and others to revisit and talk to the end users and all of their stakeholders in the coming year to ensure their projects have well-documented paths 
or onboarding and growing their maintainers. This will ensure the sustainability and health of all their efforts and all of our efforts. Open source, open formats, open standards have not only changed technology, they've also changed our society for good. The role of end users in this cannot be understated. By nurturing and making spaces for end users, we have the opportunity to accelerate this work at a greater scale and show everyone that open really does unlock the world's potential. So thank you. We look forward to continuing to collaborate with all of you across the ecosystem. Have a great KubeCon. Stay open, stay safe, be well.